So, Minecraft Championship Season 9 is happening on September 12th. The teams have been revealed. That means it is time for me to swoop in and tell you what teams will do well and what teams won't. However, we have a small problem. I didn't watch the last Minecraft Championship. Or any Minecraft Championship, for that matter. However, I do have one thing on my side, and that is math. By finding how many points each team averages, I should theoretically figure out what teams are the best. The last time I used this strategy, I got the bottom 4 teams correct and the number 1 team correct, but this time I am hoping for a perfect 10 out of 10. To better explain how I ranked the teams, I made this template team as an example. Team Clap and Drakes consists of Broly, Edison Ray, Dante, and Preston. The number under everyone's name is how many points they average in total. I average 18 points per game, Edison Ray averages 1,934, and Preston averages 9,450. If there is a NA under someone's name, that means they haven't played before and don't have an average point total. To find the entire team's average points per game, I add up all of the individual players' average points and then divide them by how many people on the team have played before. In this case, I would do 18 plus 1,934 plus 9,450, which equals 11,402, and then divide that by 3, which equals 3,800 points per player. Now, let's get into the ranking. Starting off with the team I think will do the worst based on the math I did, we have the Purple Pandas. This team consists of Gizzy Gaza, Jerome ASF, Raigai Rocky, and SB737. Their best player is Raigai Rocky, while their worst player is Gizzy. Their average points per player is 1980. While this team doesn't look that bad, they don't have any standout good players on their team. Because of that, I do not think this team has a chance to win, although it is possible they won't get last either. Coming in at number 9 we have the Pink Parrots. The Pink Parrots consist of Gryan, Smallish Beans, Solidarity Gaiman, and Indo Lilwood. Their best player is Indo Lilwood, and their worst player is Smallish Beans. Their average points per player is 2110.75. Like the other teams I mentioned. Like the other team I mentioned. This team doesn't have any standout good players, and I'll most likely tank their chance of winning. Everyone on this team is just average, but since every other team has at least one good player, I do not think this team will do well. Moving on to number 8, we have the Orange Ocelots. This team consists of CPK, Tapel, Shubble, and Pearlescent Moon. Their best player is Tapel, and their worst player is Pearlescent Moon. Their average points per player is 2164.5. This team isn't really anything special. They have two average players, a good player, and a bad player. They could do better than expected if Tapo can carry his teammates to victory. But there are teams that could do that much more easily, which leads into number 7, which is the Yellow Yaks. The Yellow Yaks consist of Fail Whip, Rip Mika, Strawberry, and Quig. Now this is actually an interesting team, because while Rip Mika technically does have an average points per game, she left halfway through the only season she was in. So if I included her average points per game, the result would be skewed. Since Rip Mika didn't get to play a full season, I will include her measly 400 average points per game. The best player on this team is Quig, and the worst player on this team is either Strawberry or Rip Mika. Their average points per player is 2250. This team is similar to Tapel's team, except that Quig is much better at Minecraft Championship than Tapel is, although his team may end up holding him back. In 6th place we have the Blue Bats. This team consists of H-Bomb, Fruit Berries, False Symmetry, and Rendog. Their best player is Fruit Berries, while their worst player is Rendog. Their average points per player is 2261.5. This team is also similar to the previous two teams. But instead of having one standout player, they have two in Fruit Berries and H-Bomb. If this team wants to do good, they will have to carry the Hermits on their shoulders. Now we have reached the top 5 teams in the event. The teams I put in 5 through 3 were separated by 25 points, so I could see any of them doing a bit worse or a bit better than I expected. Starting off with the 5th place team, we have the Lime Llamas. This team consists of Fundy, Tubbo, Dream, and Sylvie. Their best player is Dream, while their worst player is Sylvie. Their average points per player is 2,397.33. This team is the first team I've talked about to feature a completely new player, and that is Tubbo. While I don't know much about Tubbo, I think he will do pretty well, and with him, this team might be able to improve their average points per player. The team in number 4 is the Red Rabbits, which consists of Filza, Wilbur Suit, S Major, and Tommy in it. Their best player is Filza, and their worst player is Wilbur. 
and their average points per player is 2,405. This team is the exact same as last season, and there I had them in 3rd place, but they ended up getting 6th. However, since they've had time to prepare since the last season, and they all already know each other, that would be an advantage on their side. The team the math put in 3rd place is the Green Guardians. This team consists of Sapnap, George Not Found, Curtsy, and the Eret. Their best player is Curtsy, and their worst player is the Eret. Their average points per game is 2,422. Like the Red Rabbits, this is exactly the same team from last season. I had them ranked number 2, but they placed 4th. But also like the Red Rabbits, they have had time to prepare, and they all already know each other. Which is why I think this team will improve over last time. Now we have reached the top 2 teams. These are the teams the math said will be heading to dodgebolt. In second place, we have the Cyan Creepers. The Cyan Creepers consist of Pizza Hut, Captain Sparkles, Kara Corvus, and Captain Puffy. Their best player is Pizza Hut, and their worst player is Captain Puffy. This team averages 2,505 points per player. This is a very good team, and three of their members have been in the top 10 players before, and while some of them have also done pretty poorly. Since they are surrounded by other good players, I think this team will do very well. Finally, we have reached the number one team according to the math I did, and this will almost certainly be a controversial pick. The team I think will get the most points is the Aqua Axolotls, which consists of Technoblade, Calvin, Finster, and Spifey, and they average 2,816.5 points per player, 300 more points per player than the team in second. Now the reason this is controversial is because Finster and Spifey have never played before, and aren't the best PvPers or parkour players in the tournament. Obviously, this team was made with the assumption that Finster and Spifey would hold them back. However, let's compare this team to Techno's last team. There, Technoblade had him and Dream, two of the best players, and Burn and McChill, two average players. This time, Techno has him and Calvin. While Calvin is worse than Dream in Minecraft Championship, he is still one of the best players. Instead of two average players, they have the two wild cards that come with the PvP community, Finster and Spifey. Whether they are the greatest at PvP or not, that's up to interpretation, but they still come from a community that is good at Minecraft. That is better than Techno's last team, where they had two people who didn't come from a sweaty community. I think the only thing holding this team back is experience. If Finster and Spifey had played a few times before this season, I think this would undoubtedly be the best team in the entire tournament. That is my ranking of the teams in this month's Minecraft Championship based on the math I did. However, math can only tell us so much. In the end, Dodgebolt decides the winner. Assuming that my predictions are correct and the Aqua Axolotls and Cyan Creepers end up facing off against each other in Dodgebolt, who do I think will win? Going against what I previously said, I think the Cyan Creepers could pull one out. The Cyan Creepers have a collective 11 appearances in Dodgebolt, and everyone on the team has been in it and won at least once. While the Aqua Axolotls is the PvP team, Technoblade is the only person who has experience in the Dodgebolt, although he has had 3 appearances. Another thing I've noticed from watching clips of the Dodgebolt is that PvP doesn't really have much of a say in if a team wins Dodgebolt or not. Someone like Smallish Beans can clutch a 1v4 against a team of Technoblade and Dream, something that would be unheard of in any other PvP game mode in the tournament. Because of that, I think the Cyan Creepers will win Minecraft Championship Season 9. So those are my thoughts on Minecraft Championship Season 9. Once the event happens, I will post an update in my pinned comment on how I did, so stay tuned for that. Before I end this video, I want to give a brief channel update. School is starting up again, and while it is all online due to COVID, I probably won't have as much time to make videos as I did this summer. You've also probably noticed, but the equipment I use to make videos is pretty bad as well. I record background footage using OBS on a Dell laptop that can't run Minecraft at over 30 frames per second when I record. The microphone I use for all my videos, including my hour-long documentaries, is a gaming headset, and I use a pirated version of Sony Vegas to edit my videos. So because of that, and also school, there probably won't be as many videos until I can get better equipment, and that will probably be around Christmas. The only videos I'm planning on making in the next few months are Minecraft tournament discussion videos like these, and maybe a video on Dream that could be releasing in the next few weeks. Unless something happens and I really want to talk about it. There probably won't be many videos for a while until I get better equipment. If you want to stay updated, follow me on my Twitter, at RealProly. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Now I'm in a spaceship to see Baby, tell me what you rock me, die for me Now that I'm up, they go get rid of me
fuck with me Baby, you tell me you gonna be by my side Gonna be by my side